Here we go again. Should I buy or say bye bye? We up in North County, Dalewood. They're like they fixing up the house next door. That kind of helps. But a nice quiet street, even though we got a lot of clouds today in the STL. But here's our subject property. Look like it got a nice little yard. That's a big yard, dang. A yard's yard. How big a yard you got, buddy? Okay. Not bad looking. So yeah, the house next door look like it's getting some rehab work. But we're about to go up in this one and put in that work. Is the code working? Nope, we can't get in. We're locked in. Got an orange box. Okay, take that. Hold on a moment. Let me see what we got. I gotta look on the code. Can I do that with that on there? I don't even. All right, we back. So we got new windows. Yeah, supposedly this whole house has already been renovated. So the story is a, a lady bought this and her husband passed away, and they can't afford it, and so they got a mortgage on the house. I don't think they ever moved in it, but I'm gonna find out once we get in it, if we ever get in it. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get in there. I don't know. Nope. The code don't work. Well, I guess we can do this one because we can't get in. Messed that up. Okay. That don't work. Like that. in for round three guys we can't get in <laughs> he gave me two lock box codes or they gave me two codes to get in here and neither one of them worked so we're gonna have to try again it don't look too bad from what i can tell oh, what's this water standing this ain't good that's bad news right there buddy we got standing water on the outside of this house so you know it's probably getting to the basement if it's See this right here, you want to either dig a trench or have that going away from the house. When water coming down, wherever that water came from, it shouldn't settle up on the house like that. That's how you get water in your basement, mold, problems, issues. We don't do those. But yep, I guess we'll try again in a second. I'm going to call them and make sure we got the right code. And uh, we'll start this video back up. No bueno. <laughs> So make sure to turn on your post notifications if you want to be notified of when we go live. Should I buy or say bye bye? I thought we was going to that house across the street, but that one's nice too. But this is our subject property. We'll try it again in a minute. So be ready. I'll be back. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Five minutes later. Should I buy or say bye bye? Here we go again, y'all. Round two, fight. At least we get to get into the property this time. And see what's happening up in here. Uh, let me check this water thing out one more time first. Let me see something, what's going on with this. What's up, Tennessee Slim? Trying to see what's making where this water coming from because it should not be up on the house like that. It could be coming from a gutter or it could be coming from the back. It looked like it could be coming this way. What up, what up, what up? 
should I buy or say bye bye? So we got a big old backyard. Look like some marijuana leaves right there. Maybe not. So yeah, we're gonna check it out and see what happens. We're going in, y'all. Let me in now. And let me when you like your knees, touch your elbows, boom, boom. So the only thing is they're working on a house next door. Let's see what we're doing in here. Let me. Hello, real estate. So I want to get into real estate, but don't know where to start. Well, what I would say is to join the Future Cash Flow Club. It's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling, we talk about creative deal structuring, buying houses subject to, all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about. You don't need a real estate license or any of that. Wow, where do I sign up? Well, I would say go to futurecashflowclub.com. That's futurecashflowclub.com. You can even get a free trial. Try it out today. Nice and squeaky. That's oh, all warm and cozy in here. Well, y'all didn't tell me it was gonna be warm and cozy. So it looks like it's been freshly painted. Has some kind of a smart box or something there. I don't know, is that an alarm? What is that? So kind of alarm. Then we got the kitchen. We got lights in here. Nope, no lights. That's why I had to come over here while it's daytime. That's the kitchen. Let's see, is that enough? What kind of counters are these? Cheap counters. Uh, so I thought this house was more so updated. It's not. Not with this uh, oven and stuff. Somebody painted it and stuff. So this is a good house for a rental. But this is not flip grade at all. Let's see what's in this garage. Oh, that ain't the garage, that's the backyard. Man, a puppy gonna get you. Yeah, it is a nice yard. But I don't want that little yelping dog back here messing with me. Is that the way to the garage? And that's locked. The garage, you gotta go in through that way, then come in through here. They do have a new ceiling fan fixture. Okay. So it's partially updated, I guess is what we can call this. Floors look good. Bathroom. Uh oh, do I get a light? Oh, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> That's our bathroom. Yeah, this is like rental grade. That's what I would call that. Is that rust in a sink? I mean, the toilet? Okay. So, yeah, that's what we got. Looks okay for now. Nothing special. So, this is a three bedroom, two bath? Maybe it's a bath downstairs. It's a little bitty room back here. This is the room that you would consider for a twin. A twin size bed, I don't think you could fit in here because it's small. Then this room next door to it, we can put maybe up to a full, maybe even a queen. Floors do look nice. They ain't nice in my house over in Florissant. Oh, you can make that an office, huh? Yep. And then here I believe is the master master bedroom so there's no fixtures in these rooms either that's what i noticed see there's no fixtures on the ceiling so this is cheap grade so that's what you're looking for when you're looking in these houses does do every room have fixtures the windows i think there's a bathroom back here yeah it has to be so there is a bathroom off the master a half bath what the hell is that, that that's exactly that a half because it's got a sink a toilet a mirror where is it uh Shower. All I got back here is a closet. Does this ever be a shower? Or did somebody just say, I ain't gonna... Maybe they ain't feel like spending that money. So yeah, that's what we got in here. Or a baby room, you say, they can do floor lamp stuff. Yeah, but I'm like, you know, to be paying top dollar, I feel like I'm getting cheated. You know what I mean? People want top dollar, but they don't have top dollar amenities. So this room has two windows. Nope. Phone's going. 
a half bath and a linen closet. Exactly. That's why I'm like, who gonna do that? Who playing games like that? The heat on, but the lights ain't on. That's the kitchen again. It's a nice size kitchen. And it's a nice size living room. But let's see what happens in this basement. Come find out what that's about. And I don't like this uh, little oven up here. This is old. This is from the 1950s when the house was built. Mid-century. I mean, look at the clock. What time is it? Hammer time. All right, let's see what's going on down here. I don't know how I'm going to do this with no lights. That's going to make it difficult. Nice wide steps. I can see it in. Let's see. Lights don't work. Yep. Carpeted floors. Big open floor plan down here. Big open floor plan, and you got another like office in here. You say ghost, really? Why y'all wanna play? Oh, that is a ghost, damn it! He got me! I'm buying a shame, bye bye! <laughs> is this another bathroom? Oh, here's a full bath down here. And it's pitch black dark too, everybody. I'm using another phone for the light. Ghetto mode. This bathroom is a full size bath. So this house is a three bed, two and a half bath. Let's see what this shower, what's going on here. Oh, it don't look too bad. It's livable. I guess it'll pass inspection. I don't think that the uh, person that bought this house ever moved in it. Cause they just got this house like in January. And it don't seem like anybody's ever really been in here yet. Hey Chris, is that you? Okay. Then they got another room over here. This could be big as a bedroom, but it's not a walkout basement, right? Nope. So this is another office and it has closets like a bedroom. It's set up as a bedroom. Uh, and I feel moisture. Oh, we got water on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. I told you, remember when we was outside and I was saying that that water gonna be coming in the house? Y'all remember that? Before I even came in the house, I said it was a water problem. There's water leaking all in this basement. All in the basement down here. I called it, it's coming from this way. Somewhere in this basement, it's some water problem. So yeah, but the furnace looks good. Wouldn't want to pay six, seven, eight thousand dollars for a new one of those. Water heater looks okay. Stack, uh, no, they are not gonna let that black stuff that's around that white part there. They cannot be there. Um, and I can't see too much in here because it's so dark. So I don't even see the electrical panel. I guess it's around here somewhere. Um, but yeah, there's definitely water coming all through here. Water, 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 water. Now, I don't see, it don't even look like it's coming from that wall though, but I know there is a problem with water getting into this basement. That's not normal. And this carpet here, see the footprints? It's soaked with water. So you can see everywhere that I stepped. As Soon as I stepped on it, I already knew. I said, oh no, that ain't no good. Matter of fact, it's water all underneath here. This whole carpet is probably have to get pulled up if it's been sitting too long, be mold underneath there. I can hear it now that I'm walking on the floor. There's moisture all underneath that carpet. So yeah, that's what we got, ladies and gentlemen. Nice house, but uh, it's a problem. We gotta stop that water and probably pull that carpet up because it could be pretty bad under there depending on how long it's been sitting. Other than that, should we check out the garage? Can I get in? Can you get that key out of the lockbox? Okay. And then we'll see how that looks. So what do you think about this property so far? You say it'd be possible foundation issues. It could be. But this house just sold, so I don't know. It may be. They could have bought it and they got a loan on it. They would have checked that, you know, before a lender just lent on this property in January. Recently. Let's see if it work on that door. AC unit looks old. See, this is the stuff that costs you money when you start trying to do this. Matter of fact, this whole back ground back here is wet. It's water coming up too far from the house. There need to be something done to get the water off the house. It could be coming in right here because this ground is very wet. I feel like I'm walking in quicksand right here. Luckily, I got on my steel toe shoes. But this is where I saw that water. See how that water standing over there? It's 
coming all the way around here somewhere. There's water coming up on this house for sure. And this grass right here is very soft. So these are the little things you gotta know when you're looking at properties, ladies and gentlemen. Did it open? Yeah. All right. So let's see what the garage look like. Look like a garage to me. Sump pump, maybe, yeah. Something gotta happen. We got something going on. We got an electric garage door opener, so that helps. Yeah, you ain't got a man to be do that. So we couldn't open that from that side anyway. And there's a button on the wall there to push, but no electricity, so you won't be doing that. Is that an electrical outlet? Yep, we got a little electrical outlet outside for your barbecue area. So yeah, that's what we got, ladies and gentlemen. We walk that back. This is the floors in here. Is that, is that, what is it? Oh, that's paper. I was like, what is that on the floor? Here we go. What do you think about this property? We can get into this house for around 13 grand out of pocket and take over the payments, but I don't know if I want to do that. I don't like the number with that, to be honest. Let's come back out so you can see what the front looked like. No electrocutions, exactly. Big yard. That's what the house looked like on the front. Roof looks good from here. We gotta figure out that water issue and it's a lot of water in that basement, I'll tell you that for sure. And yeah, that's what we got. If you wanna learn more about how to evaluate property effectively and how to actually make offers on these properties, actually even how to find these deals, cause you gotta find them, you know that. Check out futurecashflowclub.com futurecashflowclub.com and this house next door is vacant so somebody look like they already started on the working on there you say you're not even interested with the potential water issues damn hey i like a little challenge sometimes as long as somebody else like it more than me <laughs> see that's the thing you can't run away from all of them you can lock it up so you can't run away from all properties thinking that, you know, there's nothing there because there's nothing there. We don't know that. So I would never assume it. You say on the inside and around the outside, yikes. Huh. It looked like it used to be a tree right here in the middle. Somebody already cut it down. That was good. I jumped at that tree down in front of my house. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Futurecashflowclub.com do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, wokereply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today wokereply.com that's wokereply.com hey chris is that you